There are lots of different ways to practice the reading the clock. There are workbooks, there are puzzles, there are games, there are cards, lots and lots of different ways. You're going to need to be um, using the o'clocks and the, and the 30s until you really, really know those well before you go into some of the other times that are between the minutes and so forth. So this could be done on um, just a flat table. Uh, obviously, it's easier for me to show you when it's upright like this. But if these cards or your game pieces were put on a flat table with the analog and the digital side by side, you could match them. For example, this one, both are sticking straight up in the air. That's our 12 o'clock. So we would match the digital to the analog. This one says 8 o'clock. The hour on this one is in between, so we're going to back up to the to the 11. It's going to and then count the minutes: 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. This is 11:30. Here's an o'clock. One o'clock. So we're just going to match. Oops. We're just going to match the digital to the analog in whatever order that you want to. And that would be uh, whatever the your whatever you're getting right, you don't have to study anymore. Just practice the ones that you don't know because that will help you later. And this one is 3:30. There, we matched them. Now you can take other times too that are a little harder and see if you can match those with the correct digital times. So a matching game with your toys, your puzzle pieces, your real clock at home. Do you, every time you notice a time, see if you can figure it out. And notice definitely when, you know, your favorite TV shows come on or, or um, those usually start at the hours or the half hours. So that would be easy to see if your if your favorite TV show comes on, then you can run over and see your your analog clock to see if it really says eight eight o'clock, and that would be matched to your digital. You can take your analog clock and your digital clock and look at your digital clock and run over and see what your analog clock says. So th th eventually you'll learn your times. But it's really important that you know how to do both of them because you see a lot of the analog clocks in, uh, in just your everyday life. So happy practicing.